Hey collective, we're gonna do a quick energy check. See what your ancestors, the universe, the divine want you guys to know as you're navigating through your journey, ascending to your highest good. I've already called in the appropriate protection. This is a timeless reading. It's whenever it finds you. We're gonna jump right into this, guys. So as I was shuffling the deck, these two cards came out. In the earth, you'll survive this, new solutions and beginnings. And then water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, rest. So it looks like a lot of you guys have survived some kind of like release. It was really heavy for you guys. A lot of you guys are about to get new ideas, new solutions. Stop. Um, Spirit is saying get rest right now. Whoever I'm reading for, Spirit is saying get rest. This was a lot. It was heavy. Whatever this was, it was really heavy for you. There's a lot of earth here and water. A new earth. A new earth. A lot of you guys are part of bringing the new earth forward. It's happening. Keep holding the vision, Spirit said. It's happening, guys. Keep holding the vision. Some of you guys need to get some rest. Because there was like a lot of releasing, a lot of energy. I see heavy prayer. Somebody has been praying heavily. Spirit said, you'll survive this. gifts and training it's time to set up get ready somebody needs to get rest because something that you're being called to do is getting set up spirit said you're gonna survive this it has to do with the new earth it's something that you were called to do you were called to do this. Power. Autumn. We're in autumn right now. Hex. Banishment. Some kind of hex was released from somebody's family. I'm telling you, I see heavy prayer. I'm telling you, I feel like this, whatever this was that you just released, that you just survived, it was heavy. But you were called to do this. You were called to do this. Fulfillment. Fulfillment. This is going to bring some kind of ten, of ten of cups, ten of pentacles. Somebody has released a family hex. Somebody has broke a curse in their family. Somebody has released it. It could be anything, guys. 
take what resonates. I'm gonna give you an example. For me, I always wondered why my family, the, like the family, why we always get into relationships that we never that that we're never fulfilled in. We get we 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 marry men that we're not happy with. We stay committed in relationships that doesn't bring us fulfillment, joy, and happiness. It may bring us that on the surface level, but internally it doesn't. And I always thought since I was a little girl, since that my family had a, a curse on them, the woman in the family. And when I found out I was the generational curse breaker, it could be different for a lot of you guys. It could be also another thing that was placed that I felt was placed on my family as well, poverty. Something that happened in the ain't a long time ago, it kept my family in poverty. I remember the day that I released my ex, that I, I, I screamed out to my ancestors to help me cut the cords, break the ties, release this person. That week, my one sister got a house. My other sister got a, a, a huge pay increase in her job. Good things started happening in my family. Prosperity, healer, healer. Some of you guys are healers. Some of you guys are curse breakers. Somebody has broken a generational curse in their family. This has opened up the gates for the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, for this fact, for your, for you and your family. Somebody didn't realize how powerful they were. How it was going to be them to heal this family curse, heal, break this family hex. Somebody was called to do this. Spirit said this was a heavy energy you just released. Get rest. You survived this. The new earth is happening. Keep holding the vision. Keep holding the vision. I keep hearing it. Keep holding the vision. For some of you guys, it had to do with love. You broke some kind of hex that was placed on your family where people couldn't, people were staying in connections that were not fulfilling for them. They were just settling for less. Um... For some of you guys, it's generational poverty. You broke that curse from your family. For some of you guys, it's that you're finding that you are a powerful healer. You are a powerful manifester. You were called to do something great for the new earth. And Spivit is making sure that these stars are getting in line for you. Show us the cards we need to see, please, and thank you. Ancestors of the highest white light, only of the highest white light, nothing other but the highest white light. Please and thank you. Show us the cards we need to see. Seraphim's gateway, voice activation, angelic attunement, divine support. Whoever I'm speaking to is being supported by the divine. The divine is all over this. The archangels I just heard is all over this. Your ancestors are proud of you. You healed some kind of family lineage curse. They knew it was going to be you. Yeah. Chamber of the Violet Flame. Karmic Release! What am I telling you guys? Radical transformation. It was heavy that energy you was just in. 
It was heavy. You did this alone. I got chills, guys. I got chills all over me, man. It was you and your ancestors of the highest white light, the archangel, the ascending masters, the divine Gaia. Oh shit, this is beautiful. Temple's true. Spirit said this is the truth. Throat chakra, authenticity, self-expansion, expression. Somebody has opened the gates. What did I say in the beginning? Those gates have opened. That water is coming towards you. That fulfillment is coming towards you. It was you. Oh my God, this is beautiful. What the heck? Oh, that chills all over me, guys. What else, ancestors? You don't know. In the hand, the universe is your partner. Oh my gosh. You don't know how powerful you are. Whoever I'm speaking to, hoo -hoo. <laughs> this person breaks hexes. You're a hex breaker, a curse breaker. You healed some kind of family lineage curse, karmic cycle. And the universe is supporting you. The universe is your partner. The temple's gate has opened up. You're gonna help people learn how to do this. The fortunes will, oh my God, somebody's about to walk into their destined path. The stars are aligning. I keep getting that. Jeweled web connectivity. Somebody is highly connected to the divine. Some of you guys are going to be opening platforms on the World Wide Web to help people learn this, how to do this, how to break through these things. How to release this karmic, kar karmic release, break family um, cycles, curses. And you're going to use your gifts wisely, Spirit said. You're, you were chosen to do this because of your heart. You're not going to use your gifts in a malice way. And you're going to make sure that when you do this, you get, direct, you get direct confirmation from the divine that it's okay for you to release this curse off of this person. This is powerful. Because some people, some people, some of their ancestors put them through this, these, these, these curses, because they don't learn the lessons. So there's going to be, you're going to know which one's to and which one's not to. So that you don't, you don't, you don't want to, if somebody's being, is going through karma, you don't want to try to stop somebody that's going through that. Because the divine knows what they're doing. Some people, they need to learn lessons and you're going to use your gifts wisely, I'm hearing revelation you're gonna spirit is gonna make sure that you know radical acceptance this is beautiful whoever i'm reading for oof your ancestors are proud of you We're in autumn right now, guys. I just heard something's gonna happen in Halloween. Some of these gifts are gonna get so active. Okay, spirit. I don't wanna freak out the collective. I do not wanna freak out the collective. You 
gonna help people break out of these religion factors, the religion paradigms. You're gonna help people release past life issues, karmics, identify these karmics. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Who am I reading for? I just heard you're gonna help people with drug addictions. You're going to help people release their karmic exes. Yeah. Keep your attentions focused on the light. Keep your attentions focused on the light. a few from here and then we're going to close this out. to worry there's no need to worry there's no need to worry spirit is going to make sure that you're disciplined in this area somebody is a fucking hex breaker somebody is realizing that their their power their healing power helps break curses You're going to be traveling doing this. Growth. You're going to be traveling doing this. You see this person? She's on the road by herself with her birds and her, her, her herbs. Focus on service. Focus on service. I feel good when I can help others. Oh my gosh. Somebody's expanding the yard. Success. Success is what awaits you. Oh shit. The new earth needs you. Because a lot of these people that have family curses on them, don't even realize it. They think it's normal. That what they're experiencing is normal. Look, this situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask the angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. That's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to help people on this journey. And I see you doing this. Whoever I'm speaking to is a healer. They break curses. You are going to be the one to banish these hexes, remove these hexes. This is your calling. This is your soul's gift. You're in training right now, man. What am I? Somebody's not listening to me. This is your calling. The universe is your partner right now. Divine support, angelic attunement. Oh my God. This is beautiful. Whoever I'm reading for, somebody's learning where their new beginning is starting at. And you have the backing of the universe, the divine, the archangels. The gates have 
opened. You're going to need to get a lot of rest after this. After when you do this, you're going to need to get rested. A lot of rest. Nourishment. Take care of your body. Get to Gaia. Release waters. Release. This is your this is somebody's calling. This is somebody's calling. It's happening. Hold the vision, Spirit said. It's happening. Stay focused. Focus your intention, man. Because it's here. It's happening. I just, I just got in my head. You're going to be able to tap into how far back this curse came to was put on this family and you're going to you're going to be able to stop it from that point this is weird this is too much service you're being called this is what i got for you guys love and light